Check it out. Yeah, this is neat. This is really neat. When I turn it, it moves. Whoa. It's kind of like I'm looking at a different world when I'm just looking at the lock screen. Oh, that's cool. Dynamic perspective reflects the way that we interact with the world naturally. The device feels more attached to the environment that you're in and how you hold it and how you move. The dynamic perspective was different than anything I'd seen before. The maps, by far, is my favorite feature because I'm always getting lost. The maps was really cool. You could look around the city from different angles. It shows more perspective, it seems like. I would feel like I know my way around a little bit better with this. This is going to change the way I get places. I love the maps where it shows the Yelp reviews. I found that really handy because when I'm in a pinch and want to just go out to dinner somewhere quick and like look around the area, it's just nice to do that. I moved a lot more than I usually do while I'm playing games on my phone. I felt really engaged like I was actually snowboarding. I did enjoy having the ability to just control the phone just by tilting it. I like one-handed navigation because it's more natural feeling. With you know the flick of your wrist, you can get an additional menu. You just flip your phone and then there are the pictures, and then you send it. I really love the auto-scrolling. I have a one-year-old, so I kind of live my life with one hand, so being able to just auto-scroll through something without having to use both hands is so amazing. Ooh. When reading, you can just tilt the phone, and it'll scroll the article without having to use two hands or push. It's just easier to scroll this way. I like it. I can navigate very quickly, or I can slowly read. I absolutely love the Firefly feature. Firefly was unreal. Firefly is almost like a search engine. If it's a book, it'll tell you the name of the book and where to get it. That is really cool. How does it do that? With an advertisement, it'll show you the phone number and the email address. That's pretty good. <laughs> that, I'm impressed. It was just instant, it was like boom. I can just push the button and all the technology that I need is right there based off of just the audio in the film, it can identify what was what's playing. So music's playing, a song's playing, you can instantly find out what that song is, you can find tickets. That's really cool. I would use that a lot. It's, it's almost like the world is a hyperlink. Being able to use the Mayday app was quite amazing. How can I help you? Hey Dylan, how's it going? So Mayday is like getting customer support directly to your phone, but they're able to also help you use the phone by controlling it. I think it's great, like, he was able to draw on the screen and show me how to bring up menus. I want to be able to say, hey, how do I edit a photo? And I can just call Mayday, and they can say, we'll go here, and this is how you do it. Never seen anything like that before. It's really well designed. It's just so user-friendly and practical. You use your apps constantly, and you're moving through stuff constantly. It feels like it's up to that speed. It's really quick. Yeah, you're not getting at that.